Let me get with that first verse. Then went Samson to Gaza and saw there an harlot and went in unto her. And it was told the Gazites, saying, Samson is come to Egypt. And they compassed him in and laid wait for him all night in the gate of the city and were quiet all the night, saying, In the morning, when it is day, we shall kill him. And Samson lay till midnight, and arose at midnight and took the door of the gate of the city and the two posts, and went away with them, bar and all, and put them upon his shoulders, and carried them upon the top of the hill that is before Hebrew. And it came to pass afterwards that he loved a woman in the valley of Jordan, whose name was Delilah. If you don't, if you don't remember nobody else's name, you better remember the light. And the lords of the Philistines came unto her and said unto her, Entice him, and see where he is his great strength lies, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him, and we would give thee every one of us eleven hundred pieces of silver. And Delilah said to Samson, Tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great strength lies, and wherewith thy might be bound to afflict thee. Let's stop right there. I want to speak from a subject topic this morning. Beware of Delilah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Look at somebody and tell them, You better beware of Delilah. <laughs> how, how many of you know that we are living in a time where people are very shrewd and evil? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. People are using other people to get what they want. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. How many of you know that people will step on you to get ahead? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. People will sacrifice you to get what they want. It's we are living in a time when folks are using the system to get over. Partners are trying to get over on one another. Co-workers, family members, husband and wife, all are trying to get over yeah. on each one. And we're living in a time where we believe that it's me, myself, and I. Uh -huh. We say we say it's nothing personal, but a man got to do what a man got to do. Uh -huh. And we say that this is a dog eat dog world. That every man is for themselves. And if there is anyone here that believes this, then I have news for you, the devil lied to you. Uh -huh. See, if you want to rise to the top, you do not have to expose, talk about, point fingers, look down on nobody, hug your nose at somebody, step on anybody. All you have to do is let Jesus take you to the top. Uh -huh. You cannot make it in this world
because she is going to conceive and bear a son. We think that we have the best modern technology that can tell us if we are having a boy or a girl. We live in a time now that even after you have been pregnant uh, for a couple of weeks, technology can tell you what type of baby, uh, whether you have a boy or a girl. But back in the Bible days, they told you even before you got pregnant. Here in today's modern technology, it takes some weeks for them to tell you what type of a child you're going to have. But back in the Bible days, before the woman ever conceived, she was already told what kind of child she's going to have. Uh -huh. the, the, back in the Bible days, you were told, even before you got pregnant, what you were going to have. There were conditions that had to be met if she wanted to have a son. Listen to me carefully. She could not drink any wine. Oh, uh, that's going to eliminate a whole lot of us. <laughs> I can't have no jack, no seed room. But she couldn't have, she couldn't have any wine, and she couldn't have any strong drink, and she couldn't eat any unclean things. Uh -huh. She couldn't have no chitlins. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She couldn't have no, 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 no stanky chitlins. <laughs> so she couldn't drink any wine, she couldn't have any strong drink, she couldn't drink it, she couldn't eat any unclean thing, and after the child was born, she was told that no razor shall come on his head. Because he shall be a Nazareth unto God from the womb. Nazareth means, a Nazareth means that one who is specially concentrated to God, consecrated to God. He was born into this world to be consecrated to God. The word consecrated means to be dedicated to God. So Samson was born to be dedicated to God. Uh, uh -huh. Samson grew and the Lord, the Bible said that he grew and the Lord blessed him. Look at Samson's life. Samson married a Philistine woman that his parents did particularly like. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know some of us, we, we, we even do that even today, that, uh -huh. that we were married folks that our folks don't even like. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. One of the things that uh, me and my wife, when we, when we first got married, we, first, we, we both agreed that the only way we're going to marry each other because we believe in our families, and we really, we believe that our, our families had our best interest, is that our mothers had to like us. Uh -huh. Yeah, but. And if our parents didn't like us, then well, no, no matter how much we like each other, mm -hmm. we have made a decision that this union can take place because we need to have the blessings of our parents. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, now let, me, let me say that, let me fix that up with somebody that, because see, I understand that if the, if, the, if the parent just don't want you to get married, that's a totally different thing. See, some of us would do things out of the wrong motive. Right. Well, we should, but here it is, Samson married a Philistine woman that his parents didn't particularly like. Samson killed a lion and tore him apart. Samson ate honey out of a, 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 a carcass of the lion that he killed. Look at this. Samson told a river and had given the men of the country seven days to solve it, or they were going to have to give him 30 shirts and 30 guns. Seven, and, and, and I'm going to put it in today's term. Seven told him that I'm going to give y'all a river. If y'all can't answer this river, then y'all got to take me shopping. Hey. He said, you're going to take me shopping, and I'm giving you 30 suits, and I'm giving you 30 shirts. Mm. He said, but you got seven days to answer this river. If you don't answer this river in seven days, then I'm going shopping. And because Samson knew the river, he knew the, 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 that the river was difficult for them to answer. Samson had already made up his mind what he'd get ready to get. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So he, he gave the river, but look what happened. Look what happened. They could not solve the river. So on the seventh day, early in the morning, they approached Samson's wife. 
See, I, you got to understand about the enemy. If the enemy cannot get you directly, the enemy will use the next best thing to get you. That's why, that's why husband wives, you got to be on one accord. But it comes down to the things of God. Because if the devil cannot get you, he will use your wife. Or if he can't get you, ladies, he'll use your husband. If he can't get your husband, he'll use your children. If he can't get your children, he'll get in your dog. So, the men on the seventh day, they knew that if they did not have this little song, that they were going to have to go take this man shop of money suits. They thought about how much it's going to cost and the shirts. And so they approached his wife and told her that if she did not get the answer to the riddle, then they were going to burn her and her father's house up. Uh -huh. Oh, if you don't tell us what we need to know, not only are we going to burn you up, but we're going to burn your whole family house up. Uh -huh. And so look at so what? So Seth and wife convinced him to tell her the answer to the riddle. She told the people, she told the people, and they answered the riddle before nightfall. Seth got mad because he knew that his wife told him. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Spirit of God came upon him and he slew 30 men and took their spoils and took their garments and gave it to them that answered the riddle. Now, he took the jawbone of a donkey. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you just how powerful this man was. He took the jawbone of a donkey and he slew a hundred men, a thousand men of men. 1,000 men. He took a jawbone of a donkey and killed 1,000 men. The Philistine wanted him dead by any means necessary, which brings us to our attention. We look at Judges chapter 16. Septon saw this woman and he liked what he said. Uh huh. Right. Hey. Oh. All right. Yeah. We got to go back, man. Septon saw this woman. But we got to go back because in chapter 13, if I'm not mistaken, he was already mad. Yes, yes. Right. That's not helping with this. Uh huh, uh huh. But he saw this one. Yes. And like what he seen. Uh huh. And the Bible said he went in and laid with her. Uh huh. Uh huh. And where was his wife? He, he was married, and he liked this woman. See, this, this is the problem that the men in power make, because they think because they got power that they can have anything they want. Yes, that's it. And, 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 and so he saw this woman, and she was well put together. Mm. And he went in, and he laid with her. You must understand that when you are set apart for the service of God, that there are some things that you just cannot do. That's right. Uh -huh. When you have been chosen by God to be consecrated unto him, the devil will do everything he can to mess up your relationship with God. Uh -huh. See, Samuel was a mighty man of God. Samuel was considered the strongest man in the world. He was sent to kill in line with his back hands, and, and, and he killed a thousand men men with a jawbone of a donkey. The only downfall to Samson was that he was weak when it came down to beautiful women. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven down, downfall was a woman and it has always been that way since the beginning of time. Mm. When you go throughout the Bible and you look at all of these mighty men of God, the majority of them downfall came at the hand of a woman. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to tell somebody today that no matter how saved you are, no matter how sanctified you are, no matter how much Holy Spirit you got, there is a weak side to you. Yeah. And the devil is going to try and get you through your weakness. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and tell them, beware of the lie. Uh -huh. Every, everybody got a weak side. Everybody got a weak spot. Everybody got, 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 got uh, a, 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 a problem. They got situations that yet they are still working on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
So Samson fell in love with this woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She consumed his thoughts. She was on his mind day and night. Mm -hmm. Delilah had his nose wide open. Yep, uh, can, can, I, can I, I know if I were to ask this question, some of y'all wouldn't even want to tell me. And you, you're probably scared, but have there ever been anybody that had your nose wide?
what he saw, and because he was in a position of power, he said, for one night with your wife, ah. I'll give you a million dollars. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and they talked and they turned all night long. Should we do it? Should we not do it? If we get it, we can get this house. If we, if we don't get, I mean, you know, uh, everything to be all right. It's only just sex. You ain't got to worry about it. There ain't no feelings attached. So let's, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. So they go ahead and they do it. They agree to it. And the moment they, they agree to it, they both felt miserable. Yeah. But the deal had already been done. Yeah, yeah. And what happens when now you got to understand the image is that the image will only show you the glamour, but he will yeah. not show you what's going to happen. Yeah. When you say yes to it, he showed you the fun part. He showed you the exciting part. But you don't realize it's after destroying it because their marriage was destroyed for a period of time because of the decision they made to sell each other out for some money. Look at this. So, money would make you do some strange things. It will. Some of us just spend our time watching America most wanted because we know if we dial that number. <laughs> Look at America most wanted and see who we, who we know. So we can get on the phone and dial up because you know it's a number but they're not going to know who it is. But some of you just spend your time watching the television. See, you come across an old friend, old boyfriend, old girlfriend, somebody that got on my nerves, somebody that made me mad. If you see their name or see their they picture number the call, you're dialing that number and say, hey, I know exactly. I know where they at, and next question I want to know when I'm going to get my chick. <laughs> the mind of love, Samson, but her love for money was more than her love for him. Uh -huh. So she agreed to trick him. She began to use her power of persuasion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, there's nobody like a woman. Uh, my, my, right now. A woman can get anything she wants if she use her power of persuasion. Mm -hmm. And you can be the strongest dude and you can be the strongest man. Let me tell you something. A woman can bring you down to your knees to make your knees buckle. If she don't have to use her power of persuasion. She began to ask him where his power lies. She would entice him to get him to tell her. So he told her that if you bind him with seven <laughs> green whips, seven green cords that would never dry, then he shall be as weak as any other man. So she did what he said, but he lied. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. See, when you mess with the devil, you will get burned. Yes, you, yeah. Yeah. you must understand that just because you said no does not mean that the devil is finished messing with you. No, the lion came to him again and she began to reason with him. Samson told her that if you would bind me securely with new ropes that had never been used, then I would become weak as any other man. So she did it, but it didn't work. The lion began to get mad. She felt that it was something she wasn't doing right. So, 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 so she began to use her power of persuasion. She, she fixed herself up. She went and got her head done. And got her nail done. And she went and had a pedicure and a manicure. Uh, 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 manicure and, and she went and got a spot treatment. And she, she went and got her a nice outfit. And she got herself all fixed up and put on some makeup. And said that, so, I mean, when it did the whole nine yards and told him that if he loved her, uh, he will tell her his secret because that should be no secrets between them. Ah. <laughs> Isn't that just like that? She's secretly trying to mess him up, but then she's going to try to tell him, hey, there ain't no secret between us. We're in this relationship, so there shouldn't be no secrets between us. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So he tells her, he tells her, <laughs> Santa said to her that if you braid my hair into seven locks, then I would become weak as any other man. So, so she went until he went to sleep and she prayed his head up. And, and then, then she called for the Philistine to come to get him. And when he heard them coming, he woke up. And he was just as strong as ever. Uh -huh. So it didn't work. She, she did not give up. She began every day until he finally told her the truth. How many of you know that the devil will not stop until he gets what he wants from you? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are some folks that's in your life now that once you tell them no, they will 
stop them, stop them till they get what they want from you. Look at this, look at this. So Seth told her his heart because he he kept telling her and every time he told her it wasn't the truth and so she finally got upset with him. She got mad at him and so she tells him that if you really love me like you said you love me then you really going to tell me the truth. Don't play these games with me. I don't want to play these games with you. You said we're in a relationship so in a relationship then we need to stop playing games with each other. Tell me. I got your secret. I'm going to keep your secret. Tell me where your strength lies. And so Seth told her all his heart. He said, all my life, I have never had my hair cut. <laughs> a razor has never come upon my head. For I have been a Nazareth unto God from my mother's womb. And if I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. Look at your neighbor and tell them, do not go to the wrong barber shop. And don't lay your head in the wrong person's lap. Look at this. When Delilah saw that Samson was telling the truth, she said and called the Lord of the Philistines and told them to come and bring her the money. <laughs> she said, <laughs> Look at this woman. She said, listen, I, I, I got your answer, but I need my money. For she knew where his strength lies. So when Samson was fast asleep, she called for a man to come and to cut his hair off his head. And she said to the Philistines, be upon you. But this time he knew that the Lord was not with him. And every time the Samson woke up the previous time, he knew that the Lord was with him because he was still obedient to God and not allowed his head to be shamed. But this particular time, he knew that when she told him that the enemy wasn't coming, that he knew that the Lord was not with him. You got to understand this, that Samson's strength was not in his hair, but Samson's strength lied in his obedience to God.